Miniperm, the bioreactor for protein production. The following components are required to start a cell culture in the Miniperm bioreactor. A Miniperm bioreactor, already assembled as shown here, or as a reusable option. A compatible rack to accommodate the bioreactor, freely rotatable and complete with a production module on top. Depending on the production module in use, a 5, 35 or 50 ml cell suspension of 1 to 5 by 10 to the power of 6 cell density per milliliter. A sterile filling tube and a sterile 50 ml disposable syringe. Attach the 50 ml syringe to the filling tube. Slowly aspirate the prepared cell suspension into the syringe. Make sure to remove air bubbles from the syringe using a sterile swab or, as shown here, a sterile vacuum unit before filling the cell suspension into the production module. Remove the screw cap and screw the syringe onto the lure lock connector. Rotate the bioreactor again until one of the remaining screw caps is located at the uppermost position. Loosen this screw cap to ensure adequate ventilation and pressure balance while the cell suspension is filled into the production module. Once the cell suspension has been completely dispensed into the production module, fasten the ventilation screw cap once again and rotate the bioreactor until the port to which the syringe has been attached is located at the uppermost position. You can now disconnect the syringe. If possible, remove air bubbles in the production module by lightly pressing your fingertips onto the silicone membrane. Close the production module with a screw cap or septum cap. To fill the nutrient module, remove the screw cap and pour no more than 350 to 400 ml of a tempered medium into the module. Do not exceed this volume because the gas phase in the nutrient module is a basic prerequisite for successful culturing. In order to equalize the pressure building up inside the bioreactor when the medium is filled in, press one hand against the silicone membrane and tightly close the neck opening with a screw cap. The mini perm bioreactor can now be placed onto the universal turning device in the incubator. Miniperm. Sampling through a septum. Place the bioreactor onto the rack with the production module on top and clean the hole in the septum cap with a sterile pad soaked in alcohol. Ensure that the port with the septum cap is positioned below the liquid level. Pierce the septum cap with a sterile syringe and collect the required sample volume. Miniperm – Exchanging the medium in the nutrient module. Place the bioreactor under a sterile hood to exchange the medium in the nutrient module. It is recommended to always use a new sterile screw cap 
whenever spent medium is replaced by fresh supplies. To change the medium, unscrew the cap on the neck opening of the nutrient module and empty the spent medium into a disinfected disposal container. You can now pour 350 to 400 ml of fresh tempered medium into the module. As already shown in sequence 1, press one hand to the silicone membrane in the production module for pressure relief in the bioreactor. Attach the screw cap and firmly close the neck opening again. The bioreactor can now be transferred to the incubator again. Mini perm harvesting. Harvesting intervals and volumes are determined by the cell density obtained as well as by the product delivered by the cells. As a rule, however, two-thirds of the cell supernatant can be harvested once or twice a week. Place the mini perm bioreactor onto the rack with production module on top and rotate the unit so that one of the three openings is located at the uppermost position. Screw a sterile 50 ml Lurlock syringe onto this port and rotate the bioreactor so that one of the two other openings is located at the uppermost position. For harvesting, the screw cap on this opening should be loosened to prevent negative pressure in the production module and firmly tightened again after the harvest. Turn the bioreactor until the harvest port is located at its initial position. Remove the syringe and transfer the cell culture supernatant you have harvested to a sterile container. The harvest volume must now be replaced by fresh medium. Use a syringe to draw fresh tempered medium into a sterile tube. Make sure to remove any air bubbles in the syringe using a sterile vacuum unit or a sterile swab. To fill the medium into the production module, screw the syringe onto the port located at the uppermost position. Now rotate the bioreactor until one of the other two screw caps is located at the uppermost position. Loosen this screw cap to ensure adequate ventilation and pressure balance while the medium is filled into the production module. Once the medium has been completely dispensed into the production module, Close the ventilation opening again and rotate the bioreactor until the port to which the syringe has been attached is located at the uppermost position. Remove air bubbles in the production module by lightly pressing your fingertips onto the silicone membrane. To avoid contamination, make sure to aspirate or remove medium residues around the opening with a sterile swab. Close the production module again with a sterile screw cap. The bioreactor can now be placed into an incubator for another cell cultivation.